We're here talking with Dr. Sanchi Li of Huawei. Dr. Li, last year in Barcelona, Huawei officially launched Softcom Vision and Strategy. Can you talk to me about what the carriers are looking at when considering cloud, SDN, and NFB solutions like Softcom? Oh, since then, we have been making great progress in four aspects, namely building market momentum in our industry to embrace carrier transformation towards ICT convergence, investing substantially in solution architecture with the new software technologies, engaging actively with leading carrier around the world with the key initiatives to co-innovate solutions, and finally, proactively contributing to open ecosystem establishment. Fundamentally, Southcom is about building a new ICD converged framework to enable carriers to transform its existing network and data center infrastructure, simplify and automate its operation management process, and empower the creation of new business value proposition in the rapid emerging digital age. The technology behind this new ICD platform, a cloud, SDN, NFV, big data, and social networking. From business perspective, carrier have clearly seen the tremendous potential values enabled by these disruptive technologies. They are also facing, at the same time, the fundamental challenges in execution to ensure the enabled transformation to be evolutionary, non-disruptive, and leveraging largely installed multi-generation, multi-vendor infrastructure and back-end OSS BSS systems. Over the last 12 months, we have been successfully engaged with leading carriers worldwide to identify high-prioritized new business solution opportunities, which embrace the early adoption of Softcom framework in combination with the smooth migration of legacy infrastructure and backend systems. What are the business opportunities and initiatives that Huawei has been engaging in with major operators? Well, such business-driven initiatives can be basically characterized into three main areas. The first area is in network infrastructure, ranging from core to edge, largely driven by the new wave of LTE network build-out, enabled by NFV and SDN technologies, including virtual IMS, virtual EPC, service chaining, mobile backhaul controller, self-defined edge, cloud-based band, and plus, in the FMC area, such as virtualized set -up box, virtual home residence gateway, VDI for enterprise, optics IP, SDN controller, and so on. All these initiatives have been carried out through our joint innovation programs with leading carriers, such as Vodafone, DT, LTE, uh, Telefonica, Orange, China Mobile, and China Telecom. And today, they are at different stages, ranging from proof of concept, lab trial validation, and planned field trials. Again, the main challenges in these initiative solutions are to ensure smooth migration and end working with the existing infrastructure and backend systems in place why at the same time building a SDN NFE cloud platform in supporting and managing ever increasing new function services as a software plugin modules. The second Softcom initiative area falls into the data center cloud infrastructure, largely driven by carriers, data center consolidation, for operation management efficiency, and also by new business model explorations in offering public 
and private cloud services. Since 2009, Huawei has been investing heavily in the cloud OS solution architecture and our brand name, Fusion Sphere. Leveraging the cloud computing industry momentum built on OpenStack ecosystems, Fusion Sphere has been widely deployed in support of many data center cloud infrastructure build outs, serving various market segments, such as in large enterprise, in carrier, in government, in media, and SME market as well. Certainly, enhancing functions have been built and developed to meet carrier specific requirements, especially in support of so called high availability low latency, SLA, and distributed center framework, including the virtualization of mission critical core network functions, such as IMS, EPC, and service chaining. Fusion Sphere provides the cloud OS foundation for the overall SOFCOM framework. The third SOFCOM initiative area is mainly driven by carrier's transformation from traditional operation-centric model to customer experience-centric model. While explore the new business insight for creation of new value propositions in the forthcoming digital ecosystem. It's largely enabled by big data analytics and social networking technologies with substantial integration and customization effort with existing OSFs, BSS backend systems. And Huawei has been establishing strong business partnership with the carriers, together exploring new B2C, B2B, and B2B2C services enabling by unleashing the core capabilities of carrier in billing, location, identity, presence, and quality of experiences, while continually simplify and automate the existing operation processes. And please come to our exhibition halls in Barcelona, where you will see and experience many such exciting and successful engagement and co-innovate cases. Given these business dynamics, how does our industry need to transform in order to adopt these new cutting edge technologies? Yes, I would like to take the opportunity to emphasize the importance of establishing ecosystem environment to the success of this new wave carrier ICT transformation. Now Huawei not only continually place leadership positions in standard committees and working group. But also we have been making significant contributions in the emerging open standard and open source communities like ONF, ONF, like ES, like Etsy NFV, OpenStack. Our whole ICT industry can substantially benefit and leverage from such ecosystem establishment, which is already happening in the new digital world outside of the traditional telecom industry. Now, finally, I would like to take this opportunity to invite people visit our Huawei exhibition halls at the upcoming Mobile World Congress. We look forward to engage with you and together explore how Huawei Softcom strategy will reshape the ICT industry and embrace carrier transformation. And see you in Barcelona. Dr. Lee, thank you very much.